Food has always been a big part of me and my sister's lives. Now, when my mom was 15, her mom actually passed away. So growing up, my mom was never taught how to cook. She literally had to teach herself. And I remember she would snip recipes out of the newspaper and then try her hardest to make them. So today I am sharing with you some old recipes. These are recipes that we grew up with. My mom loved making casseroles. And so I want to share my special casseroles with you guys. So if you're ready, let's just jump right in. So the first recipe I'm making was a Sunday staple at our house. I think we have this like once a month. So we called it chicken divan growing up and it's one of my favorites. I decided you needed some cooked chicken. So we have six, well actually three big breasts that I cut in half. So we have six chicken I cooked in the Instant Pot. We're just gonna pull it out real quick. Now, if you need to know how to cook chicken in the Instant Pot, I'll put a link down below for you because it's my favorite to cook chicken in the Instant Pot. It just makes it go by so fast, you don't have to think about it. You're first gonna start with about four cups of broccoli. We cut it up into little pieces, it will shrink as it cooked. Now you need to steam the broccoli. We're gonna take all this broccoli and we're gonna put it into like a steamer basket. If you don't have a steamer basket, that's okay. You can actually put it right into your Instant Pot or microwave it to steam it or however you like to steam broccoli. So we're gonna actually stick this into our Instant Pot with our already hot water in there so it will cook a lot faster. We'll put the lid on and we just are gonna cook it for zero minutes. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's what you wanna steam your broccoli at. So we're gonna go pressure cook. You can go to zero minutes. So pretty much it pressurizes and then it's done. There we go. Okay, while the broccoli is cooking, we're gonna make the sauce that goes on top. So funny story about this. I was an awful cook when, my, when I met my husband. And so I had my mom explain how to do this recipe for me. So <laughs> let's just say it, it, was, it didn't turn out the best just because I didn't even know how to boiled chicken or anything like that. So Instant Pot has now saved, pretty much saved my marriage. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I'm getting, I'm much better at this recipe than I was in college. I added two cans of cream of chicken soup and then we're gonna add about a cup of mayo. So you guys know I love to eyeball. We're just gonna eyeball about a cup or so of this. Then last, we're just gonna add a teaspoon of lemon juice and from the single, if you wanna see, you guys. The belly's coming. It's coming. Then you're just gonna mix this all together. Okay, it took about five minutes to pressurize super fast, so now we're gonna just let the pressure out and our broccoli will be ready. Okay, broccoli is done. Oh, looks good. One nice thing I like the silicone thing is because I can touch it and it's not burning me. Okay, we're gonna go straight to the pan. One, two, three. We're just gonna dump it out here. Now we're gonna spread out our broccoli. This is a little bit bigger than nine by 13, but this casserole actually fits perfectly in a nine by 13. I just didn't have four casserole pans, so you get the big one here. All right, now you're gonna add your chicken onto your broccoli. Now I kept some big, but I also kept some little because my kids don't eat a big chicken breast each time. So we have all shapes and sizes of chicken here, which is totally fine. All right, now it's time to add the thick, thick sauce. And you're just gonna spread it around. Do you want it to cover the broccoli? You want it to cover the chicken? You want it to cover as much as possible. All right, so now we're gonna add on the cheese. I love using fresh cheddar cheese here. Now it's the best part of the recipe, at least for me. So we have, I actually have two tablespoons of butter melted here. And then I have my favorite white bread. You just dip it in the butter and then you're gonna go straight over here and put it onto the chicken. It makes like these amazing like homemade croutons that just make it taste so good. So you're just gonna put those all over the casserole. All right, we're gonna cook this at 350 for about 25, 30 minutes. Everything's cooked. You just need it to be melted and you know, all together. Done and done. Oh, it looks so good. So I've got my taste testers here with me. We have... And sweet. And? Maybe. Nice. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna taste it out. So the first one is our chicken divan or chicken and broccoli, right? So grab a piece of broccoli and a chicken. Broccoli is not really the best. Okay, fine. <laughs> Eat the chicken. Have a bite of the chicken then. Mm, I'm gonna too. All right guys, ratings, what do you think? I like it. I like how it's basic and I like the extra kick with the broccoli. So I'm gonna give it a five. I, I really like over it. here. I'm gonna give it a five. This is one of my favorites. Mainly. Four. Four, four. Always four. Without the broccoli, that's fine. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, we're done with this one. Let's move on to the next. The next recipe is our five ingredient enchilada casserole. Now this is so simple, you guys are gonna love it. So for your five ingredients, you're gonna have corn tortillas, some enchilada sauce. The old El Paso is my favorite. I like to use Fiesta or, or Mexican cheese blend. You have some black beans here. Then of course, some ground beef. First, you're just going to cook the ground beef over medium high heat. We're gonna use one pound of beef here. And if you guys didn't know, I love using a chopster. It's only like six bucks on Amazon, but it's a game changer when you're using ground beef. All right, we got a special helper helping us mix today, right? Right, all right, so first we need the ground beef. All right, so we're gonna pour the ground beef into a bowl. Oh, was it hot? No. No, not bad. Then we're gonna add about half of the enchilada sauce. So I'm gonna give you the spoon, okay? And then, can you mix this all together? Nice. That's close enough, about half. And then about a cup or so of the cheese. Ready? Cheese is coming. You're gonna mix that all together. All right, so we're just gonna spray with some cooking spray. And then Sarah is gonna put our tortillas in. Do you wanna help? There we go. So the plan is just to cover all of the bottom of the pan. Right next to it. And a half. And a half ones. Good job. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more and we'll kinda just like piece it together like a puzzle. We just don't want any, any bottom to be showing. All right, so then we're gonna take half of our meat mixture and just put it on, right on top of the tortillas. Now, these are the corn tortillas. If you don't like corn, you can use like mini flour tortillas too, but I like corn with these ones. Okay, next you're gonna sp spoon on about half your can of beans. So, Sarah, can you put some beans on? I can help you a little bit. Good job. No, no. I oh, you want to do it? Okay. Yeah. So you kind of got to sprinkle only them all around, okay? Oh, only you. Okay. Oh, such a good helper. All right, next we're going to do just about a fourth cup of sauce. So I'm just going to take a few spoonfuls and just kind of drizzle it over. We like these moist instead of nice. <laughs> you don't want them dry. We don't want them dry at all. Now put on the tortillas. Can you help me, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. So Wait, why do you have to put the mobile? Well, it's layers. Uh. Perfect, good job. I'm gonna cover them all up, okay? All right, here's that one. Cover them. Yep, gotta get all the sides, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that one in the middle. All right, now it's time to add the rest of the beef. We're just gonna dump it on and spread it out. Just makes it a little easier for me. That might have not been half the first time, but you know what, with this casserole, it doesn't really matter, so. All right, Sarah, time for the beans. You wanna dump them on, we'll spread them out? There we go. Perfect, all right, take the spoon, you can help me spread. And then you're just gonna take the remainder of your cheese and just put it on, so about a cup or so left, or more. You know, if you like cheese, you go for it, because cheese is one of my most favorite food groups. <laughs> okay, then we're just gonna cover it with oil. We're gonna cook it at 350 for about 30 minutes, just until everything is heated through. All right, it is done. Oh, yes. All right, I added a little sour cream, tomatoes, salsa, whatever you guys want to add to it, or if you just want it plain, you can just take a bite right there, okay? Okay. Okay, all right, everyone, grab a bite. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, Maylee, you start out the ratings. What do you think? Okay, I think it's a four and a half. Four and a half, okay, Ensley? I really like it. I really like a lot of our meals. You do. You yeah. Do. You're my, my non-picky one. one, so. <laughs> That's why you taste this a lot. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. I'll give it a five. A five. Nice. I like it with the sour cream. Me especially. too. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Just because it's a little dry. I could use some like avocado, maybe some guacamole on it. Yeah. We could just improve it a little bit, but other than that, I like it. All right guys, done with this one, let's move on to the next. Now this one is a casserole, but it's not in a nine by 13 pan, it's in a skillet, and it's our creamy chicken and rice. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so we have our skillet, we're gonna go to medium high heat. There we go. We're gonna just melt one tablespoon of butter to start. I love this recipe because it's kind of like a dump and go casserole, which I'm a fan of. Our butter is all melted, so we're just gonna add in one onion, and then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of thyme leaves and then half a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll just kind of mix this all up. 
All right, the onions are looking soft, so we're gonna add just about a teaspoon or so of garlic. And then we're gonna add a cup and a half of rice. Now, if you wanna rinse your rice, that's great. I don't rinse my rice. Please don't eat me alive, because I do not. It's just how I prefer it. All right, then we're gonna cook this for a minute. Okay, it's been cooking for about a minute or so, so we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Now, I know this is four cups, but I'm just gonna eyeball till about half the carton is gone. Okay, then we're gonna add one and three-fourths cup of milk. We want this rice to cook, and this is going to help it. All right, and just mix that around. Gently, very gently. <laughs> so as you're stirring carefully, you're just going to wait for it to come to a boil. You wanna make sure that you're stirring as it's coming to a boil because you don't want the rice to stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, as you can see, this is boiling, ready to go. So we're gonna add three cups of chicken now and pull on the pea cart. I am pregnant, I'm using rotisserie chicken because I can. Actually, I'll be honest, If I, even if I wasn't pregnant, I'd probably still use a rotisserie chicken. You need chicken that is cooked and cubed and rotisserie is the way to go on a busy day. Once you put the chicken in, you just need it to boil one more time. It took about a minute to get to the boil. So now we're gonna turn our heat down to low. We're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna let it sit here for about 15 to 18 minutes because we want that rice to cook all the way through. All right, so it's all done cooking. Let's pull this off and see. Oh, it looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this around just a little bit. Nice, the rice is nice and cooked. That's what I like to see. Now we're gonna add the vegetables. So we have about two cups of frozen vegetables we're gonna add to this. And this one is just like the vegetable medley. So there's corn, there's peas, there's beans. And then we're just gonna add a cup of cheese. We're gonna add a little bit more and a little bit, but right now we'll just add a cup and then we'll just mix it all together. Now, these vegetables, they will heat up pretty quick because this is hot. So we're going to kind of mix everything in then we're gonna put a little more cheese on top and then we'll let it just kind of cook there for a bit. Okay, then we're just gonna make sure it's on low heat. Actually, you can pretty much turn it off if you wanted to. We're gonna just leave this on for about five minutes. All right, cheese is woo, ready to go. This looks good. Okay, last one. Maybe this has rice in it. You're gonna be okay? <laughs> well, you should try. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> no, oh, you're back. <laughs> this is like our cheesy chicken and rice. Um, we have a recipe of this for the Instant Pot, but yeah, this one was made in a skillet. So it's a skillet casserole. I'm gonna grab a bite. You gonna try it? No, and if you noticed guys, I am now in the second trimester. I'm feeling great and food is not gross anymore. Calling it a win. <laughs> okay, I don't really like it, but I think it's just a little bit dry. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll give it a four. Okay, I'm gonna give it a four too. I feel like it needs a little more seasoning or flavor, maybe add a little bit more salt in there, but still good, mm -hmm. but I'll give it a four. All right guys, now you have your dinner ideas. If you want some amazing dessert mm -hmm. ideas, you can find them right over there. I need to taste this <laughs> All right guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.